What's up guys? I hope y'all been enjoying the um, vlog today. It's my first one. Um, and to next on the list of things to do today. Well, I just did my, um, I did my, uh, I had to finish some artwork because I'm, I'm homeschooled and I had to finish art. But anyway, so next on the things of to do today is I went fishing yesterday and I dragged one of my wheels up and I got a big old backlash in it. And I gotta fix that, so I'm about to show y'all how I fix mine when I can't get them out. Let me try to find something to put y'all on. Give me a second. You know, just gotta put you on a go-kart, you know, typical. Hold on, everybody. Heck yeah. Wow, all right. So the first thing I do is obviously I grab the rod that's messed up. Cut your lure off. Just get you some scissors or something. Or a knife or you gotta get something that's gonna cut. But if it don't cut, it ain't working. Or it's not. Try not to say it ain't. Then you just want to press your button and just pull out your line and you can get you a small trash can or something and just do it like this. Just take the line off. If you got a thing that takes the line off for you, that always works. But then you're going to get to your knot and you're just going to have to cut that. Just cut that like this. Junky line through. 
why it's bad. I'll tell y'all what, but this is terrible line. And I always suggest changing your line at least before, like, you're gonna have to change your line probably throughout the year. But make sure you change it, uh, like, before the year starts. So, like, You probably will spend line more on line each year than you will on actual fishing, tackle, and rods and reels. Get in there. This one jacked up. You know, this is my first ever vlog, so I mean. I'm just trying it. I want to see how I like it. It's kind of fun. I'll tell y'all that. Just to give y'all a little insight on what I kind of do on a day-to-day -day basis. When it's not hunting season or something. I don't know if I should do it like every day or once a week or every other day, you know. I will tell y'all, I will not do any work on Sunday. I will not. I might put a video out or something, but I'm not vlogging actually on Sundays because I have church and stuff like that. Just a bunch of, bunch of good old gospel and stuff. And I'm sorry if y'all hear a click because I'm recording this on a go kart and it has a flag on it. Because I don't have a tripod. I'm not that fancy. But I'm just going to go finish getting this out, and then I'm going to get back with y'all when I get the knot out. All right, guys, I just got the line off, as y'all can see. It's off. Now, I guess I'm going to be putting it on. Duh. And then I'll just be putting back on the Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Crawl. And I really like these things. They're smaller. They're like a... So that's about three inches. Yeah, let me get y'all the light. Yeah, right there. That's a good angle. I like that angle. Three inches. And I'm just going to be putting, um, what size is this? 15 pound P line on there. I think this one will be pretty good. It is fluorocarbon too, so. I mean, I like monofilament and braid and stuff. I mean, I've never really used braid. I've used it one time, and it was like on the when the Tennessee rigs and Alabama rigs were popular. Um, but I'm just going to be using this 15-pound fluorocarbon P-line. I like P-line. I mean, there's Strand and Grand Slam, High Seas. Um, they all make good line. You know, Seaguar, you know. Um, they all make good line, but I just, I like P-Line. It does the, the, the job for me. So I'm just going to be putting 15 pound floor clear, and this is clear color too. Uh, I'm going to start trying to use um, heavier line. I've never really used more than 12 pound, but I think I'm going to try it some this year and see how it works. I'm going to be putting this on there and see how it works. Because I know that this, um, I have some P-Line. Yeah, here it is. It's the 15 pound extra strong. I don't like it. Now, maybe you like it. I just don't like it. It's real kinky. It's real naughty. You don't like it naughty. You don't want naughty line. So, I won't be putting that on. But, um, I'll be putting that fluorocarbon on it. And I'll see y'all when I got it all finished up. Enjoy. All right, guys, I just finished putting the line on it, and this is what it looks like. Got it on a seven-foot medium-heavy uh, um, carrot stick. Pretty nice, I got to say. And I got the uh, Shimano Cassitas, if I'm saying that right. 
I don't know, but this video, I'll tell y'all what, it's 7-3 to 1 gear ratio. I mean, 7-2 to 1. Um, I really like it. It's awesome. It's awesome. You know, really nice. Real, really nifty. I had to say that. And even when you have it tightened up all the way like I do, it's, st it's still pretty loose. It is. Uh, I'll tell you that. But it's a nice little reel. So, um, next thing on the to-do list is I have a baseball game tonight because I play for a travel team, the Memphis Travelers. And uh, I have a baseball game at, like, 6.30, I think. 6 o'clock. And so I'm going to have to start getting ready for that shortly. But, um... I just wanted to show y'all that real quick, and so that that will be the next stop. Um, is baseball, but I'll probably eat first because you have to eat, you know. Probably some toasted ravioli. That's good. Go get some at Kroger. Um, other than that, um, I got a baseball game tonight. I might be having somebody come home with me. I don't know, but if we do. Y'all will, y'all will, y'all see that. Um, so, um, yeah, that, that's about it. I got a baseball, well, I got to get ready, go to a baseball game, maybe have somebody come home with me, edit this video, that's, and y'all might see it tomorrow, so. Or maybe late tonight, maybe, I don't know. I might be able to put it up late tonight. So that would be pretty good. That would be pretty good. But I'll see y'all later. Got my finger on it. Well, guys, my baseball game got canceled. So I guess this will be the end of the vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. and Because it helps me out. And uh, comment. God bless y'all. God bless America.